credible reviews from military, you name it. Texas-based company owned by a service-disabled U.S. Air Force veteran, made in the USA, used by defense contractors in Afghanistan, police all over the USA, and by civilians who want to be prepared for when the you-know-what hits the fan. Armor is still legal, and they've got an amazing line of high-quality products at InfidelBodyArmor.com or 888-608-6605, InfidelBodyArmor.com. Also, this hour is brought to you by the great folks at MyPatriotSupply.com. You need storable foods nowadays. They're high-quality, non-GMO. They have special diet foods, you name it, a whole bunch of other preparedness items at MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find the specials. So MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find the info or subsection or 866-229-0927. It really is a no-brainer to have high-quality storable foods, so check them out today. That's where I get my storable foods. Heads above the competition, MyPatriotSupply.com. Now, by the way, I just plugged their once-a-week plug. They're a sponsor. They're also a sponsor, InfoWars.com, InfidelBodyArmor.com. But I didn't, uh, you know, get them on today because they're a sponsor. They're coming on for like, you know, five, ten minutes, uh, the uh, founder and owner of it, because of the fact that we've been contacted before when I've written a news article, I think it was Kurt Nemo, that had the name Taser in the headline about a Taser reportedly killing somebody, the coroner had said. And Taser International sent a, a, floor, a thing from Arizona saying, we're going to sue you if you ever say the word Taser. Now, not that you said something wrong about us. You can't use our name in an article. Well, I called the lawyer up on the number, and I said, how many of these you send out a week? And he goes, about 100. And I said, you're violating my First Amendment. You know full well I have a right to say Taser in a headline on an article. And he said, Mr. Jones, I know who you are. Just forget the call. And uh, just don't worry about it. We know you have a right to do that. We just sent a lot of these out. Uh, another time I got a call that we, we you've stolen Final Cut Pro and Adobe, and we're going to sue you if you don't pass all this money. So I called the lawyer up myself because I'm not going to pay my lawyer to do it. I already know what my lawyer knows. i got a great lawyer. Uh, I'm just giving you an example of what goes on in this country so you know it's a fraud. And I called up their lawyer of this uh, company that does work for uh, Apple. And I said, uh, I want to see the proof that we downloaded that illegally because we have it all purchased. And uh, you're probably violating the law, too, if you got spyware that claims we uh, we stole it. So that's a whole other issue of you, you know, scanning uh, our machines. I want to see your, your proof. And he said, no, 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 we're going to take you off the list. We send thousands of these out every few months. Uh, you know, just be careful what your people are doing. I said, we, we have systems on it that scan for that. People are fired that download any, any proprietary music or, um, you know, software, stuff like that. I said, this is a shakedown. They have another deal where you, you'll show a shot of a news article or, or even have it embedded in a, in a message board where it's embedded link, where it's embeddable in a tweet put out by major newspapers. And then they threaten to sue you or sue you. And then you just go to court and go, it's an embedded tweet. They made it embeddable. And then the court goes, uh, yeah, you got to pay his lawyer's fee. Still, I got a jack with it. But see, the general public doesn't deal with this. They don't run a media company. They don't know the shakedowns. And that's what they are, shakedowns. The average person, that's who they send them to, has a little website or whatever. It's some lady that has a dog rescue we've had on about stuff. You know, the newspaper coming after her, or it's, a disabled veterans group we had on this happened too. I mean, this is going on. And you need to know, folks, just because they send you a letter threatening to sue you or whatever, you need to call them up and get in their face about it. That's my view. I'm not giving legal advice. Most lawyers don't know what they're doing or will milk you and you make you spend $50,000 fighting something that doesn't exist. That's why you got to get real lawyers. There's one guy exposed it. His name's Michelin. I forget his first name. We've had him on the show. We need to get him back on about this. He's a real lawyer who just goes, I'm not even going to charge you. People we've sent to him. I'm so sick of this. I'm a copyright lawyer, and I sue real people that have really violated copyright, and they're making us all look bad. I mean, that's the kind of good lawyer who does honorable stuff, makes money, goes after people that are really violating copyright. Copyright's copying everybody's music and then selling it. Or copyright's taking somebody's program and then bootlegging it. It's not just send us money or we're going to sue you. Now, I like Under Armour, and that's why we've got InfidelBodyArmor coming on.com. 
But it shows how copyright under CISPA and SOPA and these new UN treaties and this new International Asia Pacific Union Treaty that leaked that Obama's trying to get ratified without the public seeing. Uh, there's 33 parts, only one part's been, two parts been released. I'm just giving you background here that just says you violate copyright three times on the internet. Companies claim you lose your web ID, you can never get on the internet again. And you're going to retina scan or thumbprint to be able to get on the internet. That's the end of freedom of speech as we know it. It's beyond the Chinese style net censorship. And that's what the Democrats are promoting right now. Again, I'm not siding with the Republicans. The Democrats are quarterbacking everything right now. Well, I'm going to let him give you the details, and hopefully it's a mistake by a lawyer, but I don't think it is. I remember seeing a 60 Minutes piece about the McDonald Lords, the McDonald's Lords in Scotland, who don't get lordly money for hundreds of years, so they got a castle. They rented out people to stay in, and for hundreds of years, it's got a pub and a restaurant that people, tourists, and others go to eat at and drink at. Now, it predates McDonald's being founded in the 50s by over a couple hundred years. McDonald's, remember, just kept suing the McDonald's family because they had a restaurant at McDonald's Castle. The restaurant wasn't even called McDonald's. It was at McDonald's Castle. Now, they did that really because the family probably could have come after McDonald's, but they'd been operating for 50-something years, so it didn't matter when McDonald's did that. So, obviously, the two don't compete with each other. And I get these letters all the time. You know, saying, uh, we own the word free speech, you can't have it in your corporation's name, or blah, blah, blah. I just go, good, sue me. By the way, go check these precedents. I don't say this on air, but I send them over law cases we've won and judgments. And I go, I don't really want to get a judgment on you and get attorney's fees and time. Uh, maybe you got in-house lawyers, so they don't care, but move on to weaker targets. I'm sure you've got some old ladies to shake down you can scare the hell out of and you know get a bunch of money out of. By the way, you're going to go to hell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like the IRS and all the rest of these parasites. I mean, I, I talk to these lawyers like this. It doesn't happen that often now, but every few weeks I got to get on the phone, call a lawyer up, and you know just go, man, you sleep good at night, you and your company? Now, I don't want to demonize in, uh, uh, Under Armour yet, but we've got the fellow on... He is a sponsor, but he isn't on about that right now. Just to briefly talk about this, then I want to go back to your calls. Mike, Fox, Jordy, and Peter. We're going to get to you here when our guest leaves us. Chad Cooper is CEO of Infidel Body Armor, become a successful American company, veteran police officer, veteran U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant, worked five years in the NSA. We ought to get him to talk about that. Worked under uh, uh, another four as a defense contractor with time in the Middle East and Far East. Started Infidel Body Armor in 2012. It's already become very successful. It's being sponsored here first to fill the need to supply civilian patriots and preppers with the armor and other tactical products they need to resist tyranny and keep their families safe. Well, he's gotten a letter saying you can't have the word armor, under armors, underwear, and clothes. I like it as exercise clothes and shoes. I'm going to tell you, though, they come after him with the First Amendment, I'm, I'll quit wearing it. Okay, I mean, it's real simple. Very popular brand, you know, protect this house is their slogan. Armor, there are hundreds of body armor companies, hundreds that have the word armor in their name. Armorers go back thousands of years. Body armor. I mean, I guarantee you without even calling my lawyer, they have not, it's called a slap suit, folks. If they sue Infidel Body Armor, if Under Armor does that with their underwear and the rest of it, there's no free speech in this country. And, and, and they're trying to say you can't even name your business Mickey's Burgers because it's the first word in Mickey Mouse. But that's been defeated as well. These lawyers and these companies are destroying free speech because the public's ignorant of it. That's why we're here to talk about this and to discuss it. I mean, Taser tries to tell me I can't say the word Taser. They own that word. No, you don't. I can't operate a business with that name. Okay? And it needs to be reversed. So just briefly, tell us specifically what's happening uh, to you over there. I mean, I, uh, tell us what the letter says. You wanted to break this here. I think it's interesting just in the larger gestalt of how they'll use uh, copyright now on YouTube if we show a newspaper with a photo in it and then I have to threaten lawsuits or file lawsuits. I mean, and that's the type of stuff I've had to do behind the scenes. So this is an ongoing attack on free speech, but, but also on your right to commerce. I mean, if body armor isn't body armor, but underwear can take the name of the hundreds of companies that call it armor, we don't have a language left, sir. 
Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Armor, you know, by its truest definition is goes back hundreds and probably thousands of years, like you mentioned. And in its truest sense, it's designed to protect against uh, sharp edge weapons and projectiles. And that's by definition what we do, what they do. Uh, you know, no offense to their product. It's, I personally, I, I own a, a couple of uh, Under Armour products and, and they're great for working out, but it's not really armor. But their lawyers um, are way out of control and need to have their pants pulled down and spanked. <laughs> well, about a month and a half ago, I was contacted by uh, Under Armour's lawyers and they sent a letter challenging our copyright, I mean, excuse me, our trademark and our trademark is Infidel Body Armor. And they said- Not Under Armour, totally separate, totally different products. Totally different spelling. They spell theirs with the British spelling, ours is the American spelling, but it's body armor, not sports equipment and uh, you know athletic shorts and things like that. But basically they've got this army of lawyers who have to justify their existence it seems like, and, and come up with ways to protect their company and, you know, stay in business. And what they 